how's things? Today for Drugstore Week, I'm gonna be doing a first impression on some Korean makeup. It's super duper affordable. And I'm actually collaborating with Yes Style for this video. So Yes Style sells clothes and makeup. So they sent me out their Yes Style beauty box. And in here are loads of beauty products. There's some skincare and there's some makeup. So I'm gonna be doing a first impression on all of these products, seeing what I think of them and putting them all on my face for you. Again, super affordable for the box. I'll link down below where you can get them. Obviously, all the opinions are my own. I'm not being paid to say anything positive. Like, I can literally say what I want. So, let's get on with the video. Okay, so there are some cleansers in here. There is a cleansing balm, a little baby one. This is the Hemish Clean All Clean Balm. And then we have a little sample of the low pH Good Morning let's say good morning low ph good morning gel cleanser so i'll actually try these later on and i'll let you know i'll take off the makeup using the beauty balm and cleanse afterwards so this will come after there isn't a full face in here so i'm gonna have to use other products as well but i'll use what i can so the first thing i've got here are three skincare things there's a facial toner a serum and then an emulsion so i'm gonna use these and prep my skin this is the pink vital water pink peach Ooh. I don't know what I was expecting, I just like squeezed it and obviously it's a toner so it's super liquidy. So I'm just putting this onto a cotton pad. This is going to be my toner. That just came off my face. I thought I'd taken off my makeup. I'm actually a little bit concerned. Like I thought, where was that makeup? Did I just skip a part of my face? Okay. That is disgusting. That just came off my face. Now for the Pink Vital Water Serum. So this is like a creamy consistency. I'm just gonna pop this on my face. This has absolutely no fragrance. It doesn't smell of anything. I wasn't expecting it to be like strong smelling, but like really doesn't smell of anything. I'm just gonna read about those while that sinks in. The Etude House Pink Vital Water Trial Kit. Three step kit helps to restore the moisture and oil and water balance to the skin for resilience against damage. Contains a high concentration of peach water plus vitamin A, C and E and herbal and botanical ingredients. Use the water skin after cleansing and following with the water serum and water emulsion. My skin does feel really moisturized. Okay, and finally, I'm gonna use the Pink Vital Water Emulsion which is the final step of like the skin prep. So I guess this is like, kind of like the moisturizer. Again, absolutely no fragrance at all. So if you're somebody who um, is really sensitive to fragrance and your skin doesn't like it, this actually could be really great for you. It's kind of like a lotion-y gel consistency rather than like a thick moisturizer. So I've just put the whole sample on, which is probably a bit much. <laughs> I've chosen to do this on a good day as well because my skin is really breaking out. I'm gonna be putting the base products up to the test. The next thing I have is another like three step system. So I'm gonna be having a lot of base products, but I think Korean beauty is very much about luminous kind of hydrated base. So I guess skincare is very important to them. A sun protectant, but this is a shimmering sun protectant, which is way up my street. So I'm gonna use that as my primer then a BB cream and a luminous CC cream. So I'm gonna use all three. Okay, so it's like an iridescent pink cream. What SPF is this? These are all SPF 30, that's great. Okay, so this, ooh, this is up my street. It's a slightly thicker consistency to the other products. It kind of feels like the Max Strobe cream, again, I've used the whole thing, I think I've used too much. One thing about SBF is normally it leaves like a kind of white cast, so I'll be interested to see if that does this, or this does that. <laughs> Can you see that glow? If it's gonna make me glow, I'm happy. And it's also protecting my skin, which is rad. Radical. It is pink tone, so if you get quite a lot of redness, that might not be ideal. You might want to go for something more golden. But this is like a three in one product. It's a primer, it's an illuminator, and it's your SPF. So I for one think this is fab. It 
feels lovely as well. So far I'm happy. Now let's try the Thank You Farmer BB Natural BB Cream. Now I'm a bit concerned because I don't know what shade this is gonna be. Ooh, okay, that's light. I thought this might happen. It's a light and quite um, pink toned, which quite often um, BB creams are. We're just gonna have to work with this. So first impression, this feels very thick, but very, very moisturizing. We're just gonna have to look over the color for now. I'm gonna buff this in. Now sometimes with BB creams they do kind of adjust to your skin tone, so here's hoping that might happen. Again, this has SPF 30. So obviously ignore the colour, I'm going to have to make it work somehow, but I'll start by bringing it down my neck. As you can see, this is beautifully luminous. If you've got an oily skin, I would say stay clear. But if you've got a dry skin, this is a lovely kind of really moisturizing, kind of rich feeling product. It does feel lovely. Um, obviously the shade's wrong, but I'd say it's got a light coverage. My blemishes and my redness are still showing through, but it has evened out my overall skin tone to the wrong skin tone. But it's even out, you know. Onto the CC cream. So it says follow up with the CC cream for luminous beauty. So I'm intrigued. Okay, so it's like a cream highlighter. This one's slightly more peachy. And I'm just gonna pop this on top of my cheekbone. It's a really nice glow. Really natural, super, super sheer. If this matched my skin, I would 100% be into this. It's just such a shame that it doesn't match my skin tone at all. I am just going to quickly throw on some concealer underneath my eyes and spot conceal and do my brows and then I'll be right back. Okay, I just threw some brows on and I put some concealer under my eyes. I haven't set or anything because I'm going to use some cream products. So this is the Berisum Oops Duo Contouring Highlight and Shade. Okay, so it's a cream highlight and a cream contour. So the highlight is slightly iridescent, so I'm literally just freaking going for it. I put a lot of that on, wow. That's pretty. It's not like shimmery shimmery, it's quite um, satiny, but it's super light and brightening. It's nice. It isn't actually as scarily pale anymore. It has kind of adjusted, but I think it's adjusted as much as it can. Highlight. Oh, too much on the nose then. Always too much on the nose, so I'm gonna put that on my brow bone. Now for the cream contour. I'm hoping that this will just warm me up a little bit. No, there's nothing warm about that. That looks like a good shade. Wow. <laughs> I put way too much on guys. I did it with both of them. So the highlight was really, really pigmented. So I don't know why I didn't think that the contour would be. I didn't set so that I could warm up my skin. Hopefully with the contour. I'm very impressed with this. That's a nice um, contour color. So I'm just gonna add a bit of color to my forehead. Might be able to warm me up a bit guys. This contour blends so nicely that is beautiful and it is doing what I hoped it would it's warming me up a bit it's a cool toned color but it is working go under here under here I'm just gonna look super sculpted genuinely so happy with this contour product will 100% use this again. I'm a bit nervous to contour the old nose, but here we go. I'm now looking forward to setting my face because I'm feeling a bit like a lot. There's a lot of cream products on my face now. Better, it's looking better. What's next? 
the Jewel Stick. Is this blush? The Luxe Jewel Stick Shadow Shadow and Blush. So, I've got a peachy shade and a pinky shade. I am going to use the pink shade. I'm actually going to use my my finger and just pack this on my cheek. That has just disappeared into my skin. This is a really nice colour. Okay, I'm now just going to lightly prep, um, set my face because this will move on me. I'm going to keep the cheeks um, completely unpowdered. You know what you guys, I think my skin looks beautiful. I am now going to use this peachy shade. I'm actually just going to take it from the stick and I'm just going to put this on my brow bone and I'm going to just lightly blend this in just like a wash of colour it says cheek and eye tint so okay that's very sheer and very creasy we've got three more products here the first one is a liner this is the MCC accent waterproof liner my top lashes I'm just gonna buff that in and because you've got that creamy shade on the lid this is buffing into it really easily I'm just buffing this all over very sheer very like smudgeable I'm actually gonna take a little bit of the contour shade just on the back of my hand take that on the brush and I'm just gonna also buff this through the crease. I'm going to take black liner under the eye, go in with the brush that has the contour shade, just to smoke that. Now because there was no eyeshadows, I am going to set my lid um, with a translucent powder just to set the eyeshadows in place because they're all creams. So I'm just going to press some powder over them. Not a huge fan of this as eyeshadow. I wish I'd just skipped this step because it made my eyelids really like glossy. I'm now going to use the mascara. This is the My Little Mascara. Um, this is the High Curling Mascara. I'm not going to curl my lashes because I want to see if this is curling. It's a kind of semi-curved brush. my lashes look quite nice I'm impressed with that mascara I really like that okay on with the final product this is the lip manicure rouge high fix in brick red it looks like this it actually looks like a little nail varnish it's like a teeny tiny little oh smells like those rainbow twist sweets it's a liquid lipstick. This really short applicator is making it quite difficult to apply. I like that colour though. That's a really nice colour. That's just one coat. It's not streaky. It's nice and opaque. Not gonna lie, I would never normally wear this kind of combination of eye and lip okay time for my final thoughts on the makeup so i loved the sun cream the luminizing sun cream i thought that was a really beautiful product um the bb cream i really like as well it just did not match my skin tone i managed to somehow make it all blend but it was very very light on me but the actual product i really like the luminous cc cream i also really liked i thought this was a lovely natural looking highlights obviously a bit more natural than what i normally go for but it was really nice as for sorry i'm just showing you empty packets as for the kind of pre skincare these were really really nice my skin felt very hydrated very plumped um very clean and very smooth and ready for makeup so this i really liked i am just, i'm actually gonna see if they sell these this contour and highlighting cream I'm very impressed with and it actually saved the day. It managed to help me match my skin tone much better 
um, I'm super duper impressed with this and I feel like it will last a really long time on my skin I feel like it's not gonna go anywhere like the back of my hand like it's just not going anywhere so a thumbs up for this it's also worked nicely as an eyeshadow it hasn't creased at all so I like this the Lux jewel stick I liked it as a blush it was a pretty natural blush shade but I wouldn't use this on my eyes um, it was just a bit too waxy kind of um, slippery for me but as a cheek colour it was really nice. The liner for me was a little bit too creamy. It's great if you like kind of smudgy liner but for me if I do a black liner I like it to be dark and intense. This was a little bit more of a charcoal. For the mascara I am pleasantly surprised. For such a little thing, it has actually really made my lashes look nice, I don't know if you can see. Finally, for this little liquid lipstick, Brick Red, I really like the formula of this. It's completely set down, it's completely opaque, it feels comfortable and and the colour is lovely, I really like this. What's this from? Re... re re, re, re? Okay, I am now gonna go and try the cleansing balm to take off my makeup, and then I'm gonna double cleanse using the Good Morning Gel Cleanser, and I'll come back and let you know my thoughts. Okay, excuse if my eyes look a bit red. I just got moisturizer in my eye, and it honestly burns so bad. So I took my makeup off using the um, cleansing balm, and it took once to get all of my base makeup off, and twice to get all my mascara off. There's no mascara left on my lashes, so this I liked, I really liked it. It felt like the consistency of coconut oil, so the second I warmed up it completely melted and cleansed my face, so I really liked this. And then the Good Morning Gel Cleanser, I actually really like this. It smells pretty strongly of tea tree, so I think if you are someone who suffers with acne or you're just prone to blemishes I feel like it might be a good kind of antibacterial face wash for you so maybe look into this because it's definitely very tea tree based. So you guys that is my first impression and review of the Yes Style Beauty Box. I thought I would try it out. There were some hits and some misses in here. Again, as I said, I'm not paid to say all good things, so I've given you my honest review on these products. Some of them I actually really, really like, um, and will actually look into maybe buying full size. Check out Yes Style down below if you're interested in trying some new skincare, some new beauty products. I like that they give you little samples because you can test them, and if you like them, you can buy the full size. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you're enjoying drugstore week so far and I will see you tomorrow with a new one. Bye!